All you have to do is to bind yourself here with me. And we will be gods together forever. Once Constantine had fallen, Deirdre kept her promise. She led all the native clans as they managed to drive the invaders off their island. The island found peace again, and nature took over the abandoned cities. But the old nations were plunged into war, and the Malikor grew ever more devastating. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. Sieglinda took Kurt as an advisor, but he insisted on keeping his place alongside his former student and friend, watching her back as he always had. Siora obtained the title of Marl of the Red Spears alongside her twin, she leads them with wisdom, but often reunites with the one she still calls her Karantz. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dunkasi's clan when not visiting her friends. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander he now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his sister-in-arms. Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much-coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the seaside Nemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. After driving off the settlers, Deirdre started destroying what they had built. She wanted to erase all traces of the Inquisitors and Savants who had hurt her people, only keeping what her Karantz advised her to keep. Thanks to the help Dunkas's clan received, it continued on its mission to heal the Earth. It attracted many young islanders who were eager to learn. Predicted 
when my two young students left the port of Serene, that they'd become the gods of Tiafredi, thus plunging the world into chaos. Certainly not me. So it seems that I am a poor teacher. Amongst those who would try to prevent the ritual from taking place, only a handful of dazed survivors remained, helplessly facing hordes of creatures following the orders of the two cousins. Afra and Petrus, former rivals, fell together. They couldn't accept this treason from the one they believed in. As for Vasco, he managed to run away and join the Nort fleet. Rumor has it that he went to their island, his heart full of bitterness, and never left it again. With his help, Kurt managed to leave Tierfredi, but only to die on another battlefield. Siora had done well to go back to her sister, who tried to lead a rebellion for a while, but just like the rest of the clans, she eventually acknowledged the power of their new gods. Exiled from the island, all our nations sunk into a state of constant warfare, each accusing the others of being responsible for their terrible defeat. The congregation is now on the verge of forming, and I have no doubt that the others will follow. The lives which haven't been taken by war will be taken by the Malikor. On Tiafredi, the Norts report that nature has reclaimed its rights in the cities. After a period of chaos that saw the death of many rebel islanders, the survivors reportedly all ended up acknowledging the power of the two cousins. But sadly, this is nothing but hearsay, since the news we receive is scarce and getting even more so.